Hello everyone and welcome to another rousing edition of how to fix things on your cars. Um, today we're going to be repairing a wiring harness for my stereo. Um, my friend a couple of, probably about four years ago uh, had him put this together for me because I really I don't know much about stereos. And all we had on hand was duct tape so we stripped off the ends of the wires, wound them together and like this and wrapped them in duct tape. Which if that's all you've got it's better than nothing. Um, now that I'm know a little bit more about cars and just had my stereo out so I had an opportunity to fix it I figured I'd show you guys different ways to do it um, all the things we have here we have a soldering iron we're gonna show you the soldering way along with some solder to be honest I'm not a hundred percent sure all the ins and outs of soldering I know to get lead free solder because it does not have rosin core if you get rosin core solder then there's plastic inside of it and it will cover your soldering iron and we'll just get plastic everywhere um, also got some electrical tape. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this, but I have a better way to do it that I just learned the other day. I've got heat shrink tubing, which should actually replace the electrical tape, and I'll show you how to use this. And I've got some butt connectors, which are easier than wrapping the wires together and soldering them. And I've got crimp, or uh, not crimp down tool, um, pliers to crunch down the butt connectors. So, first, open these guys up. I'll show you the soldering way because I've got the soldering iron, soldering iron plugged in. Um, it gets obviously rather warm, so we're going to use this valve cover box, valve cover gasket box, as a, uh, a barrier to my table here. Now, if you're doing a fresh wiring harness, you want to obviously strip off the ends of the wires so you've got a little bit there. Now, these are sticky because I had duct tape on them. And just wrap them together. One of the joys of sticky wires. Give it another shot. Or see if I can use the box to separate it as well. Get all these other wires out of the way. One other thing you might want to have on hand, just because it's useful when doing any sort of wires, just a simple utility knife. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, we can get on to soldering. Now I've got extremely thin gauge solder here just because it's easier to work with. Um, if you were doing like uh, pipe work, you'd want thicker solder because you need a lot of it. Now remember when you're doing this, there is a tendency for it to drip, so you want to have something underneath it that you don't care about. The solder, this has been plugged in for five minutes or so, so it's going to be warm. This tip is slightly used, so in order to get it to melt, I can't put the solder back here. which It'll work, but it's not going to work as well. I need to put it up here on the actual tip. And what you want to do <clears throat> is get enough solder on there to where it drips down onto what you're working on. Steady hands are better for this, but it's... I don't have them right now. <laughs> there we go. Got ourselves a bead. My uh, <laughs> wire is actually stuck to that. Simple tear. Should pull that off of there. All right. That's now soldered together. Um, we could probably do this side too just to give you guys a better idea of what to do. It's not necessary to do both sides. I'm just trying to show you. Also, <laughs> common sense, but I figured I'd tell you, don't touch the metal part of the soldering iron. There we go. Got that all set up nice. Now for this one, I'll show you how to do it with electrical tape. If you end up using heat shrink tubing like we will for the next one, you want to make sure you put that on before you solder it. Because otherwise you've got to cut this off and put the heat shrink tubing on.
And the back of the box said, if you tear this, it's going to ruin the integrity of the tape, which I guess is true. I've got utility knife here, so it'll do it for me. Probably a longer strip than I need, but I'd rather show you and be sure of it. And there you go. That's how to do it with a soldering iron and with just some electrical tape. Now, if you want to do heat shrink tubing, a little bit different. Undo the old ones here. I got a little bit more wire to work with, so it should be easier. It's probably why the, uh, the white wires came apart. Also, I'm going to be honest with you, I still don't know what a lot of these wires do. I mean, some of them are labeled ACC couldn't tell you anything about stereos or what ACC means. This one I'm going to try to, actually, heat shrink tubing. I almost forgot. Got to put it on before. <laughs> that one fits. What about one smaller? Alright, got that on there. Just like that. And we'll wind these together in line instead of with like a, a peak like I did with the other one. And put some solder on it. I also really like this uh, solder because it's it's thin enough just to act like a I don't think wire <laughs> or rope. It's not going to have a whole lot of uh, stickiness to it like a thicker one would. Get enough solder on there and then drop it onto your wire. Damn it. <laughs> One other little note, I guess, would be to have a uh, something underneath where you put your soldering iron so that way the solder doesn't come off and melt your, uh, your dining room table. <laughs> This has got to still come off too, it's stuck. This is what I'm using over here. Um, could be better. It's kind of an impromptu thing to show you guys. Alright, this is all soldered up nice and well. So we got it all the way around. Now what we'll do is we'll slide our heat shrink tubing over it. Nice and even on both sides. It's right in the middle there. And then I've heard differing opinions on this of what to use, either just a uh, cigarette lighter or hair dryer. I'm going to use a propane torch and just set it on really low. See, just a little bit of flame there. See, it's just shrinking right up. Nice and easy. Shrunk right on on there, right on there. Part of the wire, I can probably do a little bit more here. You want to be careful not to melt it. There we go, turn this guy off. And that's how you do a heat shrink tubing. It looks quite a bit nicer than the electrical tape. So that's actually what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of this. <laughs> um, I'll do a little bit of electrical tape to show you the butt connectors. No, you, you get the idea, just, just wrap it in electrical tape. <laughs> The heat shrink tubing is quite nice. I like it a lot. This is the first time I've used it. The other wire we want to do 
Saw another bear one here. There we go. This wire. Again, just unwrap it, and we'll do a butt connector this time instead of soldering it. That way you can see what happens. It sounds like my animals are playing with each other. <laughs> Breaking things in my house. Right, get the wires straightened out a little bit. Alright. Now the butt connectors. I picked a gauge 16-4. <laughs> Not entirely sure what it means. I just I looked at the holes, made sure they were a little bit bigger than my wires, but definitely not too big and not too small either. And what these are is it's just a piece of metal that goes all the way through, and you stick your wire in there, and then you crimp down both sides, and then it holds your wire on. Now, since we're going to be doing heat shrink tubing, we again need to make sure we have it on the wire beforehand, but this time we need to make sure it also fits over the butt connector. This guy's not going to fit. Nope. So if we go up to the next one, a big one like this. It's very easily. So, slide the giant heat shrink tubing over the wire. Hopefully it gets it shrinks enough in size to where it'll come down to the butt connector enough. And then just got it got it. we have to get the wire inside there. I'm trying to sink it as deep as I can just so I don't have any sitting out. And then the other side, also into there. There we go. And in. The wires are actually this side is so long that it's it's meeting the other side in in the butt connector. Make sure I got them both in there, and then it's as simple as crimping it down. All you do is crush it. See, not coming out of there. Nice and crushed. Double check on this side. Fun fact I just learned, dog. Do not like blow torches. <laughs> when I turned that on, he ran. <laughs> All right, so now that we've got this crimped down, we we'll want to slide the heat shrink tubing over it. I'm trying to move these these zip tie numbers back, but they're they're on them pretty good, so they're not moving. Get over there. Fire up the blow torch. Not, not all that much power. I'm gonna put too much heat on there. <laughs> See that butt connector is uh, giving me some issues. <laughs> See, it shrank over the butt connector very well, it's just the ends are not coming down to where I want them to. I'll give it a little bit more heat, if not, then I'll do the electrical tape. Yep, it's not working. That's the other thing you got to worry about. The heat shrink tubing will only shrink so much, you've got to judge it correctly. So I think next time I'll use one of these and just try to give it a little bit more force over the butt connector. Yeah, this uh, the heat shrink tubing is this warm and pliable is the words I'd use. Anyways, electrical tape to get the ends. Um, it's a stereo harness, so I don't think any moisture is going to get in there, but why not? And it's just as simple as wrapping it up, trying to make sure no uh, moisture gets in. Alright, that side's done. 
and on the other side. And there we go, nice and wrapped up. So we've got a soldered and electrical taped example here. Um, where's the other one? It tends to blend in so well you can't always see. Oh, here it is, <laughs> right in front of me. This one, solder and then just heat shrink tubing. This I think is my favorite so far. It's got a very good fit to it. And this is the butt connector with heat shrink tubing and then a little bit of electrical tape because heat shrink didn't shrink enough. Um, I'm going to go ahead and redo all of these. Um, you guys got any questions, post them below. Um, again, I'm using heat shrink tubing I picked up at AutoZone. Some 16-4 butt connectors. Little itty bitty gauge solder. Um, you need pliers for the butt connectors, some electrical tape, utility knife, blowtorch, or some sort of heat for the heat shrink, and then a soldering iron if you choose to solder. If you guys got any questions, feel free to post them, subscribe, comment, you know, whatever you need. That's all for today.